Hello guys, welcome to this development video. Today I'm going to be showing off some uh, new models for the game. So, as some of you know, the control rescript has been uh, something we've been developing so that the game runs and uh, controls better. And these are animals that will be added after specific uh, rescripts are done. So some will be added after terrestrial, some will be added after avian rescripts and aquatic and all that. Um, I'm going to be showing the name of the modeler from our dev team that did the specific uh, items, such as here. Uh, this Ivory Hut remodel made by our animator and modeler, Bavelli. Um, so here you can see all the uh, bone detailing and the mammoth pelts around the building. Here's the uh, ivory tusk framing for the doorway. And uh, that's the doors obviously keep animals out, but over here we have one without the door. So I'll go ahead and walk over here. Inside you can see there is the uh, the pelt beds so humans can sleep. Uh, the wood framing keeping the uh, structure supported and all that. And uh, here's the campfire. Obviously people will be able to use the fire to cook food. And also the fire will deter predators because we're going to be adding a stress meter uh, for different instances to keep certain animals away from specific stuff. Uh, another look at the outside of the hut. And back inside. Moving on, now we have the animals. So here's the tiger cub, which uh, a lot of people are really excited about. Uh, some people thought it was a Smilodon cub, but no, it is a tiger. It just does not have stripes yet. Uh, those will be added later. Um, now, after the rescript, uh, this is something a lot of people are excited about. Um, animals will be able to carry their young, or certain animals will. And tigers, wolves, obviously. And you can go into detail right here. Wait, wait a second. And of course, the most important part of any cat model, the little toe beans. And there's a side view of it next to the uh, human. So next up, we have uh, the Calican remodel by our modeler, AJ. So here you can see the undersides detailing. Uh, go over here. Here's the uh, dorsal feathering. Or, um, no, that's uh, caudal feathering, I guess. Uh, dorsal would be the back. Anyways, um, here's the uh, face. And nice sharp beak there. And this coloration is obviously a lot better than the uh, current blue model. And it's also a lot more accurate because we are trying to be accurate with our animals now. And over here we have the Orca remodel. Also by AJ. Um, this is based off of orcas from the Antarctic that would hunt uh, penguins and seals. In game they'd hunt animals like ox and nanopoca, which are small seals that we are planning to add. Um, so... Uh, we're changing up the way orca gameplay works because uh, there are too many large animals in the ocean and we want something to predate on the smaller creatures. So here you can see the male model compared to the female model, which is obviously much smaller. The uh, dorsal fin right here is uh, much different here, as well as the pectoral fins compared to the pectoral fins on the female. And over here, we're going to be looking at the uh, Hass Seagull, which is an animal a lot of people have been wanting in the game for a long time, myself included. Um, the Hass Eagle is a large eagle from New Zealand. It, would, uh, it hunted moas, which were a very large bird on the islands, as well as people. 
um, what it would do is it would fly up in the air, or I guess in the canopy, because this did this bird did live in the forest, and it would gain momentum going downward, and it would use that momentum to uh, push down its prey and uh, and basically severely injure them. Now, this bird will be able to hunt people and other uh, semi-large animals in the game, such as wolves. It will not be able to take down stuff like bison, obviously, because that's pretty large. But uh, anything small enough for the eagle to hunt, uh, it can kill. Um, the eagle's gameplay is going to be pretty interesting. Um, it's basically going to rely completely on skill. Because if you miss a target, you're going to hit the ground or hit a tree, and it's going to really hurt you. But um, look in the uh, look in, into the detail. It's based off of the Hass eagle's closest relatives, such as the little eagle and other eagles. Here you can see the. Uh, I don't know the specifics for bird anatomy, but here you can see the uh, feathering on the wings. Here's the tail feathering. Now let's get a look at the uh, face. A nice sharp beak there. That's for ripping flesh, obviously. And now let's look at a much larger, but admittedly more harmless bird, the Argentavis. Now this bird would be more of a scavenger. Um, there is a misconception that it is a large vulture. But really, it is not related. It's uh, not a vulture because it's. I don't think it's related. It could be. Again, I don't really know birds that well. But um, this bird is a scavenger, and it would um, hunt off carcasses. It is also fully capable of hunting small animals. So if you want to go for uh, gameplay where you kill stuff like thylacines and. Uh, and uh, smaller birds and stuff go for it. Uh, of course, this bird would not be able to kill something like a human. Um, it would also be slow to take off because of its large body size. Um, so this, these birds, the Calican, Hass Eagle, and Argentavis were modeled by AJ, as well as the Orca. Now we're going to go into a model by our animator, Wubbix. Here is the pronghorn, which you've probably seen in the uh, menu coming soon. Not as soon as we uh, would have liked, because we kind of held it off for the uh, rescript. But this would be the fastest animal in-game behind the Truman's cheetah, which will be added later on. Now, the pronghorn is an ungulate um, it's actually a real, it's actually related to giraffes, not antelopes, which makes the name pronghorn antelope kind of confusing. Um, it can be found in the North American prairies and Yellowstone, um, and they can run up to 61 miles per hour. Uh, so it's a really fast animal. The males have these horns, uh, that, you know, that gives them their name, pronghorn. They are not antlers. They are actually they are actually full on horns. And uh, here you can see the uh, doe. And next to a 1.5 meter human, you get a little bit of detailing in there. And next up, we're going to look at another one of Bavelli's models, the thylacine joey. So this is a baby thylacine. This will be added after the control rescript, obviously. Um, unlike wolves and um, cats, but the thylacine will actually carry its baby in a pouch. So if you're a thylacine baby player, then you'll be hanging out in your mom's pouch. And the mom will have the ability to eject the baby if there is a predator, uh, much like marsupials do today. When a... Uh, when a kangaroo is being chased by a dingo, it will eject the baby in hopes of escaping. And you will be able to do that in game. Of course, you don't have to if you want to hold on to your baby and die. 
Yeah, that was a little joke. Um, so yeah, the thylacine joey is very small. Um, upon inspection, it doesn't really look that different from the adult, but if you look, there were actually some major proportion changes. Like the head is really large now. It's got stubby legs, uh, really plump body. Now we're going to go on to the sockeye salmon, which are going to be part of a uh, salmon run event that runs every hour or so in game. And these will actually be fish that you can hunt that will swim through the ocean into the rivers and will eventually despawn at the end of the map. Now, animals like bears and tigers will be able to take care of this. Uh, I mean, will be able to take advantage of this uh, salmon run as they'll be able to get into the water and hunt them because uh, they'll be able to dive in. Other terrestrial predators wouldn't be able to. Of course, other aquatics, such as alligator gar, would be able to take advantage of the salmon run. And here you can see the sexual dimorphism because the males have those large teeth to spar with, while the females do not need to spar. And this was modeled by our modeler, Major Dunce. And he actually does a lot of fish for the game that will be added later on. He's a really talented artist, as you can see by the detailing on these fish. Next up, we have the Colia Camps. Uh, run over there a little farther. So there are actually two modern species of coleocanth, the Indonesian and West Indian coleocanth. We decided we could just go ahead and add both. Um, they are large tetrapod fish, I believe. Uh, I'm going to fact check myself right now. All right, it is related to tetrapods, but itself is not specifically a tetrapod. It's more like the gap between normal fish and tetrapods. Anyways, um, you can see they've got the, uh, the limbs and all that. So um, these will be large fish that will be both AI and playable. I'm not sh really sure how they'll work out playable wise because um, a lot of the prey in the ocean will be fast moving so we might have to add some slower moving fish for the coleocanth but if you want to play as them you will have the option most likely and next up we have the alligator gar remodel so the current alligator gar uh, is somewhat inaccurate uh, obviously um, so here is the newer model, which is a lot more accurate. And we actually consulted with a aquatic ecologist that works specifically with GAR to make it as accurate as we could. Here you can see the spotting on the, uh, on the um, tail fin and the scales going along the body. Little detailing in zoom in on the head there so these are fish that are alive today they are native to the lower United States um, they are um, they can get very large but large specimens are very rare because of overhunting currently um, they live for a very long time the eggs of these fish are actually poisonous which is an interesting fact that will try to bring into game into the game once nesting for them is added and next we have the Beijing dolphin from china this is an extinct species of dolphin that uh was killed off by tr pollution and like trash pollution and sound pollution um what happened was the uh chinese rivers were overpopulated by people and boat engines and stuff created too much sound and these dolphins couldn't well you know dolphins work off echolocation so they couldn't see uh well enough to find fish and all that anyways this is a very small animal it'll hunt mostly uh ai fish and small it's young amphibian players and maybe birds that land in the water 
Um, this was also modeled by AJ, who uh, worked on the birds and the orca down there. And the last model was also made by AJ. So we'll get to that in a second. So again, this is a freshwater dolphin. You will not be able to go into the ocean as this guy. Uh, we will be adding a salinity sort of system to keep certain animals out of different water areas. And now we're going to move on to the last animal, the Leviathan. So this was actually a whale that, um, uh, oop, don't want to walk off the edge there. This was a whale that lived alongside the Megalodon and it was another whale hunter. Um, it is actually a type of cacolot or sperm whale. And of course it is not adapted to hunting squids. It actually would have hunted, uh, other mammals and large fish. So um, here you can see the uh, eyes. It's got very large teeth, uh, very scary large teeth. And a little known fact about uh, sperm whales that I didn't realize until this model was being developed, they only have one nostril on their blowhole. And I did not know that. I thought that was very interesting. So they have an asymmetrical blowhole where the hole is just on one side. That was an interesting fact I didn't really realize. Get an aerial shot of it. And that's it for the uh, new animals today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to fall off the edge here. And I will try to post more development videos when stuff uh, is able to be shown off. Um, we do try to build up a good portion of stuff instead of little small minor stuff. So if you want to see the stuff from the control rescript, I do have videos of that on my channel. Uh, yeah, bone breaking is the thing we've been working on. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.